Hi everyone, it's time to open up, finally open up my August BoxyCharm. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and visit. It means so much to me to have you guys stop in and spend a few minutes of your day with me. I appreciate it more than you know. So thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Today we are doing my August BoxyCharm and this was actually the first box I received this month. I received it early and just haven't had a chance to open it up for you. But anyway, here it is. And you know, one of my pet peeves was that crappy piece of paper in here and my flyer always being a smush. So I got the foam again and I got the pamphlet, well not the pamphlet, but this little flyer that's not bent. It's in good shape. don't know why that means much to me, but it does. But anyway, the theme this month is Dusk Till Dawn. The back of the card always tells you the products that are in here. It tells you the MSRP and a little bit of how to use it. And the number of my box is going to be, must be 43BA or 043BA for base box. So anyway, we got some items in here. You do get to pick one. I picked one item and it's... I don't know, I guess it's kind of bothering me. They showed me three different things that I could get. I picked one, and then the other two items that I didn't want are in my box. I don't know. So that kind of, kind of just kind of sets your mood, you know what I mean? Where they give you the choice, you don't pick it, and they give it to you anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean. So anyway, this first item is the one that I picked out. You know, I love eye serums. I love skin care. So this one is another avocado one. Let's be hot on avocados this month. So it's Glow Recipe Avocado Melt. It's Retinol Eye Cream. And it comes in this cute little jar. And it's a nice, looks like a nice thick eye cream. I know I am going to enjoy using this. And my eyes need all the help they can get. So anyway, just rubbed a little on, rubbed right in. This is the item that I picked. I paid $25 or $28, I think, for my box. And this has an MSRP of $42. I got my money's worth. This is the one I wanted. So anyway, I don't think I told you what it is, right? So you get five full-size products. You do get to pick one. It's $28 a month. They say the average value is $175. I've been a little bit below it. I've been a lot below it, and I've been well above the $175. So I guess it just kind of depends on what they pick and put in your box that month. Alrighty, so that was the uh, first item. Now I'm going to enjoy using this. This is Alley Oop. And as much as I love the name, this was one of my choices that I didn't want, but I got it anyway. So I suppose it's a good if you've got limited space or you want to make a quick little travel bag for your makeup. It's got a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush all in one. And you just kind of twist it. Oh, that one's got a mirror on it. So again, you got your bronzer that I don't use, the highlighter that I don't use, and the blush. So the blush is a good product. Looks like a nice color for me, but this is absolutely going to go in a giveaway. I mean, this is something that I think it's really good if you have a little desk at your work that you want to just kind of do some quick pick-me-ups or if you want to carry it in an overnight bag. I, th You know, I think it's got its place in the world. It's just something that I didn't pick. So next is a Sparkle Eyeshadow. That was also one of my choices that I didn't want, and I got it anyway. So anyway, I don't use liquid eyeliner, liquid eyeshadows too often. This one does look like a nice color. We did get one around Easter time. I forgot which box it came in, but it was a nice, pretty pinky shade, and I did like it. So I might have to eat my words and try this. I don't know. But this is Girl Lactic. It's a metallic eye sparkle. I don't know if it's going to tell me the color. Maybe that's the color. Glam. But it's this nice, kind of like a bronzy, coppery, pinky shade. So maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. 
Um, if I use it, I'll probably, if I use it, then I'm going to keep it or throw it out. And if not, you'll see it in a giveaway. But I won't use it and then put it in a giveaway. I don't do that. So anyway, this that one. And um, I don't think I gave you the values. So this was a $20 value. The Alley Oop was $38. And um, then we got a blender. Blender sponges, right? Um, so anyway, we've gotten these in the past. And when you give your reviews back on, like Ipsy or BoxyCharm, I always put down that I don't like it. I don't use sponges. Please don't send it to me. So here we got another one. So I know a lot of people use these. They love these. So this will go in a future giveaway. This has an MSRP of $40. And again, it's, I'm sure they're nice sponges. I just don't use them. So future giveaway. And the last item is a lip oil. And I thought I loved lip oils. And I got a bad batch from KAB that I was like, I was just got, got on new meds for my heart medis medications and something to lower my um, blood pressure and my cholesterol. And I was on something for the prednisone and something else to help with the COVID symptoms. And so I thought it was a mix of all those medications. That was just my lips were swollen. They were chapped. They were like bleeding. They were awful. And I kept using this KAB lip oil that I got. And I thought it was just the different medications or whatever. And it ended up, it was bad lip oil. So I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I know other people have used lip oils. I used them in the past. I just am not a fan of lip oil since I got that bad batch and I've got this upside down. So this is 10A and it's a really pretty shade. I'm sure it's probably not going to be as dark as that. If it was dark as that, I wouldn't use it because it's too dark for me. So chances are this is going to go in a giveaway as well. This is a $27 value. So everything in my box this month was $167. So a little below the $175, but you know, that really doesn't bother me that it's a little below because I know I've been above it other times. But so anyway, we got this lip oil that's going to go in a future giveaway. The blender sponges go in a giveaway. More than likely, this eye shadow is going to go in a giveaway. The alley oop, stack the odds, the highlighter. Um, bronzer and blush is going to go in a giveaway and I'm going to keep and enjoy the under eye serum with retinol so again I spent 20 well I think I got this last year so it was $25 that I'm still paying and the value of the box was $167 and the item that I'm keeping is $42 so to me it's still worth it I got some great items that even though I am not going to use them I'm hoping somebody else does. So I think pretty soon I'm going to have to get a box going for a giveaway because I'm just getting too much stuff that I'm not going to use. But anyway, that's everything in my box this month. I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day. Just wonder if anybody else had that experience this month where they gave you the choices and then they sent you the ones that you didn't pick anyway because that's just that just seems wrong. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm happy with my $42 eye serum, and I hope you enjoyed your box, and I'd love to hear different items that you got, and what did you think about them, and I hope that everyone goes out, has a great day. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in and watching. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Be happy. Be kind. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.